Today on Engineering Newswire, brought to you by Interpower, the premier supplier of power system components for worldwide markets, we're testing experimental grasshopper rockets, making smooth jazz on the seaboard, and making this ball do everything. We all know toys are becoming more complex and interactive. This is one of the simplest, complex devices available. Sphero is an orbotics smart robot that is a reinvention of the two-wheeled gyroscopic toy. Simple, right? There are batteries, wheels to drive the ball, an arm to keep the wheels on the ground, but also an army of chips, sensors, and a complicated PCB all crammed inside a baseball-sized enclosure. This robotic cat chaser is operated via Bluetooth, utilizing apps on iOS or Android operating systems. To comply with varying App Store rules, Sphero's software is not completely open source, but the system is as close as can be without violating any agreements. The Sphero can pair with a free SDK that is provided by Robotics, which was used to create many of the apps used to operate the robot. The truly profound thing about this little ball is all of the engineering that went into the design. Though the Sphero is ideally used to run around chasing a beaver or drive your pets a little crazy, the sophisticated technology contained in the plastic sphere is capable of a variety of test and measurement tasks. But why would you bother when a world of augmented reality, ball rolling wonderment is at your fingertips? Duke University is developing a new system, Insight, which will allow users to spot their friends in a crowd based purely on what they're wearing. The technology which aims to extend augmented reality to humans will work between Google Glass and a smartphone app to create a fashion fingerprint of a person's outfit, taking defining elements such as clothes, jewelry, and glasses into account. This fingerprint is created by a smartphone app that takes pictures of the user during general use, producing a file detailing the spatial distribution of colors, textures, and patterns of the user. Testing for this clothes recognition technology has already taken place, with the team successfully identifying its target an impressive 93% of the time, even when the subject's back is turned. Music technology innovators gathered at the 2013 South by Southwest Music Accelerator in Austin, Texas to unveil their most ambitious new products. Among them was tech startup Raleigh, which just so happened to take home first place for its Seaboard Grand. Hopefully, you're a fan of smooth jazz. Oh, sweet nectar. The Seaboard Grand is a radical new instrument and digital controller with a highly intuitive, soft, three-dimensional surface that enables real-time control of the fundamental characteristics of sound, pitch, volume, and timber. This not only allows authentic simulation of all other instruments, it also creates a world of entirely new sound possibilities. The Seaboard is powered by the C interface, Raleigh's patent-pending platform technology for building pressure-sensitive touch interfaces. It's highly precise, information-rich, pressure-sensitive, and can be built in any form factor. C enables seamless transitions between discrete and continuous input and captures three-dimensional gestures while simultaneously providing the user with tactile feedback. The company was even kind enough to let me sit in for a duet. I'm the guy on the left. Sometimes, I still impress myself. Until now, most rockets used by space agencies have ended up on the bottom of the ocean. However, Elon Musk believes that recycling rockets is an important part of pushing space exploration forward. In his keynote speech at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas, the SpaceX founder explained how recycling rockets could result in a hundredfold reduction in the cost of space flight, expounding on why his company has opted to pursue developing reusable rockets for its commercial space flight program. During his speech, Musk also presented a video demonstrating the latest test flight of the Grasshopper, an experimental reusable rocket that is capable of both vertical takeoff and vertical landing. In the clip, the rocket was able to achieve a height of 262.8 feet before landing itself softly on the ground. Musk strongly believes if humanity is to ever expand beyond Earth and have a self-sustaining base on another planet, then it is very critical that we solve this kind of problem. 
For more than 100 years, hydroelectric power has been a major source of electricity for many countries. However, it typically takes an enormous investment and in huge installations to fulfill a single city's electricity demands. The Kappa generator takes things to a smaller scale. It's a personal turbine, if you will, that can come in handy if you live near a lake or stream with running water. While this small turbine can merely be used for personal needs, it could still be a beneficial alternative to small gas and wind power generators. The Kappa generator is capable of producing 250 watts. It may not be able to run your entire house, but if you're looking to power a few lights, a computer, and an internet connection, you may be in business. Although, if my house slipped off the grid, my priorities may be ordered a bit differently. To use this power generator, you simply submerge it in fast moving water. It relies on a tapered diffuser housing that increases the speed of water flowing through the turbine, boosting the amount of power it can deliver. Unlike other power generators, Kappa doesn't generate noise or exhaust, and oh yeah, it doesn't need to be gassed periodically either. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For PDND TV, I'm Chris Fox, and this has been your Engineering Newswire.